If I had a hundred dollars, if I had a hundred dollars. Hi guys, welcome back to Too Cool for Middle School. It is summer and I am loving it, but it's getting to be about that time where some of us are heading back to our classrooms to get them organized and set up for next year. I was on Teachers Connect today and Terry was talking about that One Happy Classrooms video about things that she bought for her classroom and then things that she ended up not really needing. So Terry was asking other teachers about helpful purchases that they've made over the years. A couple of things came to mind for me and I wanted to share them with you, but at the same time, I didn't want to put any pressure on anybody else to spend lots and lots of money on their classroom. So at my school, the PTSA will reimburse us for up to $100 that we spend on classroom supplies. We can turn in our receipts to them and they'll reimburse us up to that $100 mark. So I don't know if that's common at other schools, but I hope so. I hope that someone is either giving you at least $100 to spend on your classroom or that if you are spending money that you don't have to go too much over that $100 mark. So I thought I would just give you a list of five things that cost less than $100 all together. If you put this all in your Amazon cart, you're not gonna go over 100. And these are all things that have either proven to be really helpful in my classroom or one of them actually I'm just really, really excited about and I think it's gonna be helpful in my classroom. So without going over 100 bucks, here are five things that I have found to be really helpful in my classroom. So the first thing is my newest purchase, and this is the only one that I haven't actually tried out in my classroom yet, but I can tell that this is just gonna be like life-changing. So this is a wireless doorbell. I've seen other people on YouTube and on Instagram using these, and at first I didn't really get what it was for, but this is genius. So here's what it looks like. I got a blue one because this like matches the colors in my room. This part I can plug in to my wall. And then this part I can either attach to a specific location on the wall or I've even seen teachers put this on like a lanyard or a keychain or something and carry it around with them. I'm actually not quite sure what I want to do with mine yet, but you need these two pieces. So this one is plugged into the wall somewhere and when you push this button it makes a doorbell sound. I don't have a uh, plug in here. Oh wait, maybe I do. Let's try this. I have an extension cord down here. Okay, so it's actually plugged in down there. It's gonna be loud. So when I press this button, that's pretty loud. I think, I think people will hear that. <laughs> I think you can like turn it up and maybe change the chime sound or something. So I think this is great. I do always tell my students, pay attention with your face. And sometimes I'll say, pay attention. And then they say, with your face. And they have to look up at me with their faces ready to listen. But that's just not always feasible. Like it would just be nice to have some kind of a noisemaker like this. I've bought other noisemakers in the past and they just weren't loud enough and they just weren't like convenient enough. So I think this is gonna be really good. So this is $20 on Amazon and I think it's worth the money. So that's kind of a classroom management, like attention getter type of purchase. And I think that those things should come before like decorations. If there's anything that you need for classroom management and organization, spend your money on that kind of stuff first. But I also have an idea for classroom decor. So I don't have very nice furniture in my classroom. I'm a recent hire at my school and you could tell walking into my classroom that everyone had put the furniture they did not want into my classroom and it was all the ugly chipped paint mismatched furniture. And I was like, oh man, this stuff is gonna bug me, but I didn't feel like sanding things down and repainting and all of that. I'm no good at that. So I just bought some tablecloths. These are two tablecloths that I got on Amazon last year and I just covered up my ugly tables. These are some of the colors in my kind of classroom color scheme and so I just threw this over one table, this over another, and you would never know how ugly they are underneath and I think that they look really nice. It kind of ties the room together and then a bonus for me is I always like to take a lot of pictures for Instagram, pictures of books or of like student work and then you can like lay them down on these tablecloths and I think they make really cute little backdrops and it kind of keeps your Instagram feed with like a certain 
color scheme from your classroom. So these are from last year. They were about $12 or $13 each. I might pick up one more this year in like a lavender, I'm thinking, and cover one more table. But these are a cheap way to redecorate and not have to buy new furniture, not have to sand anything, not have to paint anything. This is the lazy girl's way to redecorate. The next thing that I thought was really worth it last year was a personal laminator. Mine is actually in my classroom, so I can't show you, but I'll insert a picture of the one that I got. I just got a Scotch laminator from Amazon. The one I got is about 30 bucks. I think you can spend more if you want to. Mine just laminates like one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And I used the heck out of that thing last year. I'm thinking of putting the laminator pouches on an Amazon wish list. For parents to donate if they feel like donating anything to my classroom this year that's the only like cost to upkeep because I went through like four big pouches of laminating sheets last year I laminated name tags I laminated like task cards the decorations for my classroom things for bulletin boards and personally I just hate going into the teachers lounge and having to like turn on the big laminator and like hope that it's working and hope that nobody else needs to use it and hope that it actually has the laminator plastic in there and hope that that little cutter thing is sharp enough to slice off your work at the end sometimes it gets all like tangled up i just think those things are such a pain although it is nice to be able to laminate like bigger items but for the most part i just I only really needed to do smaller things and it was just so nice to have it right there in my classroom. It takes a couple of minutes to warm up and I could sit there and feed a couple of papers through on my prep, get things looking nice. It was just so worth it to have that in my room, not have to go anywhere, not have to wait for anything. So along with the laminator, I also just got packets of cardstock. I love the Recollections brand of cardstock and you can get this at Michael's or on Amazon. On Amazon it's around $10, a little bit less than $10 for a pack. And sometimes at Michael's they've got really good deals where you can get like two for five or two for ten. I kind of set my classroom theme around the Recollections cardstock colors. I really like the soda pop one and then there's like a candy and I use those two little packets together and so I just consistently have those colors in my classroom so it gives me a consistent color scheme. It's kind of like a bright pastel kind of rainbow look and then all of my bulletin boards are black so I think that the black and then the kind of bright pastel work really well together. I don't ever really buy decorations. I don't download a lot from Teachers Pay Teachers. I just make my own signage in like a PowerPoint or on Lucid Press or something and then I just print things out with black ink on colored paper. It's a cheap way to go. I use a combination of like four or five different fonts, but then I try not to stray outside of those fonts so that there's also a consistent look going on with lettering. And none of that costs me any extra money, and I don't spend any money on posters or anything, I just tailor things to what I need on my walls. So between some cute cardstock, a laminator, and just black ink, I've got most of my room decorated. The last thing that came in really handy and is pretty cheap were these little like name card holders that maybe you would see on like a table at a wedding. And I ended up using those all the time. They're about $9 for a 10 pack. And again, you can get them on Amazon. I used these at the beginning of the year, even though I have like 165 students. I spent time before the beginning of the school year printing out name tags and then laminating them and cutting them out. And I handed them to all my students on the first day. And on all of the desks, I had those little name card holders. So for the first like two weeks, I asked my students to bring Bring that name card every day, stick it in their name card holder so that I could like visually make connections between names and faces. I had to remind them every day to leave the little name card holders and to take their name tag with them, but it was worth it to me because that really helped me to get to know their names a lot quicker than if I hadn't done that. And a lot of them really liked keeping their little name tag. So after I used them for name tags, anytime that we did like a station or anything where I needed some kind of like short sign propped up anywhere, then I would just get those back out. Um, we did a couple of like scavenger hunts with QR codes where kids would scan a QR code and it would bring them to like some information or a question or an artifact or something. 
and it was nice to have those propped up in the little name card holders too. So if you buy all of that, you'll still be under $100. Hopefully your PTSA will reimburse you, and if not, I mean, especially when you're a new teacher, I tried to tell new teachers not to spend a whole lot of money on your classroom right away, at least until you can kind of figure out like what would be worth it for you to invest in. So start small, you know, if you really want to buy a few things, just buy something that makes your life easier or like really brings you joy. Set up Amazon wish lists or use Donors Choose. Quick, quick side note for me about Donors Choose. I do not use it because I work at a school where most of the kids can afford everything they need in order to learn. They do have backpacks, they do have pens and pencils. Our school actually provides them with a Chromebook. We do a one-to-one -one Chromebook thing. And there's nothing that we desperately need in my classroom. Like I can teach effectively with the things that are provided for me at my school. I'm just provided with really basic things, but I really think that that's all I need in order to teach. There are other teachers in other classrooms that don't even have basics, and their students don't even have like the necessary tools in order to access the curriculum the way that my students do. So I don't want to divert any attention or any resources to my classroom when funds could be going to classrooms that have a greater need than mine. I have applied for grants that are like specific to my district or specific to my area and I love when I can, you know, get some extra money to buy some extra books or no, pretty much books. That's like all I ever really spend it on, but I do apply for grants that, you know, any teacher in my area is eligible to receive, but I just don't feel right about diverting any funds from donors choose. So if you work at a school that is affluent enough, you know, where your students have the basic tools that they need, consider maybe just being a donor instead of someone asking for money. It's totally a personal choice. I don't judge you at all if you use it. I just, at the moment, don't feel right about asking for any money for myself. Anyway, that was a quick side note. I hope you're having a great summer. I hope you've had time to relax. And if you are getting back into your classroom soon, I wish you the best there. And I wish you a realistic budget. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.